today of all things, I have a bathroom tip for you. Are you guys surprised? I talk about everything, anything and everything. <laughs> so we have been in town all day long. Um, Fridays, I don't do it every day, but uh, most Fridays I try to do something self-care. And I have missed a few Fridays uh, with some stuff that's been going on. And I did not prioritize those days. And um, Trey was like, you need to just put it on the calendar. Like, just put it on the calendar. You need that time. You know, if you feel stressed without it, you need to prioritize it. So I did prior prioritize it. So I marked it on the calendar. Self-care day, two-day. That is so important. I, I can talk about a self-care day um, in, an, in another video. So anyway, I decided for self-care to, today, usually it is something um, where I go just by myself and do something. Um, I'll usually do like a coaching session, like a personal coaching session for myself on that day. Or I will, I don't know, even just like running to the chiropractor and leaving the kids at home is just so nice sometimes. Um, so just usually just simple things. It's not like I go and get a manicure and a pedicure every single time. Uh, but today it sounded fun actually to have the whole family. So Trey took us out to breakfast and, um, we got to go to some of our favorite thrift stores and we had a great shopping day. It's been wonderful, but I have this bathroom tip I've been wanting to tell you guys about because I just discovered it and it's amazing. And isn't this cool? Do you guys see all, I'm like a disco ball. I'm totally like a disco ball <laughs> from this sequence on this sweater. Um, I just realized this bathroom tip. It's crazy. So <laughs> in the restroom, there's the regular stalls and then there's the handicap stall. I'm sorry. I'm trying to block the sun, but I'm not being super successful. Um, so then there's the, you know, the handicap stall. I always go in the handicap stall with the kids because there's not enough space in a regular stall for me and three kids. So I finally realized something in the handicap stall. The toilet is taller because handicapped people can't raise and lower the same. So I've been taking my kids into the handicap stall to use the bathroom. And it's really hard for little boys to stand there and pee. Um, and you're like trying to get them up on the toilet. And one day I took, I just had like, you know, one of them in the bathroom with me and we went in a regular stall and I was like, wait a second. The toilets are shorter in the regular stalls. So we need to lobby for bathrooms for moms. <laughs> okay. That, that could happen, but probably not. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind with your kids. If it's, if you just have one child with you, try squeezing in a little stall if they need a shorter toilet. And just know if you're gonna go in the handicap stall, the toilet is higher. And I never, I had never made that con connection before. So have you made that connection? Did you guys know that the handicap toilet was like tall and the regular toilets were really short? Like they're nice, significantly short, uh, like shorter. So drop in the comments if you knew that the regular toilets were smaller than the handicapped toilet because I'm 31 years old and I just figured that out. 